Hey, how's it going, guys? Today we're going to do a 99.6 series Roberto Alomar debut. He'll be batting leadoff for us, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at his stats. So when it comes to this card, his stats, nowhere is he lacking really anywhere except for power. Yeah, it's 74, 79. It could be a little bit better, but honestly, with how the game plays currently, I think that's perfect. He's got 87 speed with 97 stealing, so... He's going to be cheesy on the base pass for sure. 93 fielding, a second with 81 arm. He's going to be great in the field. If you're that person who does want to do the whole drag bunt and surprise people with the bunt, maybe even just move him over, he does have the 99 drag bunt and the 99 regular bunt. When it comes to his contact, 121 contact on right, 98 on left with 120 vision. His PCI is going to be big, even on Hall of Fame and especially legend as a quick kind of summary of this card i did use him a little bit yesterday when i was doing my 12 hour stream to celebrate becoming a twitch partner he is batting 364 391 obp 818 slugging he is of course a switch hitter if you didn't know and he's a really really good card and hopefully he's able to display that for us today in this video so for the lineup today of course alomar is going to be leading off then we got hornsby willie mace frank thomas duke snyder step bro the cap hitting sixth Cody Ballinger, Pudge, and then our pitcher. While we're searching for a game, I do want to say I apologize for no real recent uploads. I have been a little sick, if you can't tell by the uh, sound of my voice. It's been a rough kind of last four or five days. I am finally starting to get a little bit better. And I also, like I said, did do my partner stream yesterday. So that hopefully, hopefully we're over the uh, tail end of it. We have Hornsby, Gwen, Guerrero Jr., Mike Trout, Eddie Matthews. Uh, he's got a decent little team. I don't recommend hitting Alomar that low in your lineup. It's not something I would do. I think Alomar is goaded. So he's got Oral Hershizer on the mound. Not the most ideal matchup for us, but it's at least a good park as opposed to the game I played before. We're playing at Polo Grounds in the rain, and we ended up winning 1-0. to zero. It's not a game I'm going to upload, or potentially I will to show flaws in the game. It will be a completely different video and not be revolving around Roberto Alomar because it, it was just so bad. I don't want to upload that and have that be a video where it's it's just me getting pissed off and irritated on how well that I did and received uh, little to nothing for it and only won one to zero. We lead off the game with a line drive single for Alomar. Uh, we will showcase his wheels. We're, we're going to showcase it right now. We're going to see what we can do. I want to see if he's going to slide step. No, but that's an easy bag. We're going to take all day. I would love to swing at that pitch, but when you get a jump like that from Alomar or anybody for that matter, you just take. Hornsby with a base hit that is going to score Alomar. We got the early lead one to zero. All right, we're down the count one two. He's gonna make a mistake, and he actually makes a money pitch. That it was a perfect pitch. There's nothing I could do with that. It might have been better if I struck out, but that, that was a pitch that it was gonna induce the ground ball we at least scored one that inning we have Oswald on the mound we're just gonna attack him first at bat see how well he does even on these higher difficulties you don't get these strikeouts it's, it's almost impossible someone's timing has to be horrific and when I mean horrific I mean that ball leaves the pitcher's hand and he's got to be swinging right then and there on the ephus all right so unfortunately you guys aren't gonna see what happened I was over there about to have a stroke I was coughing and uh, i end up throwing a slider right down the middle probably should have stepped off the mound but now we are down two to one because like i said i haven't been feeling too well three other count we're just gonna throw a four seam down the middle he he's actually swinging really one two the count we've been fouling off everything earlier or late we need to straighten one out here straighten it out a little bit vladimir guerrero jr makes a decent play hoping i was gonna find the hole but might have been a little on top 2-2 two, two, we're being an absolute pest this inning we've i think every batter's seen so far at least six to seven pitches that one's gonna find the hole that time our cap is now on base we're gonna get something to drive and uh we at least avoid the double play we, we're getting pitches to hit but this is this is absolutely me right now i'm hitting i'm hitting them well in terms of where i'm squaring it up for the most part but the exit velocities this game are trash we end up jamming willie mays there i'm actually surprised this man's timing's everywhere i can't figure out what exactly he's looking for it's like one pitch he's looking fastball next pitch he's he's looking for the 12-6 uh curve I, he's everywhere it's, it's hard to, it's hard to figure it out feel like he's gonna be sitting fastball inside so i am curious he was sitting fastball inside i think i am getting a read on him i did want to see 
what exactly if i'm reading them correctly with oral on deck i'll throw that get me over and then we're gonna go back to nibbling on this corner here i'm not gonna give in as i give up a change up down the middle get away with it absolutely kind of gave in and we get the double play out of the inning eh, we missed that when i draw my pci a little bit that was honestly a pitch we need to take advantage of but we missed it we had an initial very good start to the game and then after that we've been shut down pretty well one down on the inning we're gonna go ahead and throw that sinker inside again i feel like he's gonna be looking for it as he is it looks like he wasn't completely ready for it but it line drive base hit nonetheless i'm tired of seeing these good okay and these late and just late hits just like that because it you know when i squared up and hit line drives it's just it's very frustrating to see that these are the hits that are getting rewarded all right let's strike three thank god we need to get out of this inning here i'm tired of seeing all these terrible hits thank you that's what should happen if somebody's early should also probably happen a little bit more often if they're late all right willie we need something to get going here that's a good start first pitch change up over the plate we pull it for a single you already know i'm probably gonna have him on the run here here comes a slide step i'm calling a mistake there's a mistake and that is absolutely launched and what sucks is a change up down the middle to frank thomas you're gonna see the exit velocity and you obviously saw the outcome i don't know if you can see it but that's a good good squared up change up from frank thomas who has 107 or 108 pop on right-handed pitchers i'm just saying in real life the man squares up a change up change up down the middle um i'm expecting at least 105 you know really high exit velocity it, it's frank thomas yeah it came off the bat at a uh, 97 when you play a game you're hoping that you know the better man wins and even in 18 with the issues it had to be fair the better man won way more often in 18 than they do in 19 and that and that's disheartening because at least in 18 you if you squared it up you were getting rewarded with home runs and so i understood the complaint that people were saying oh there's way too many solo shots blah 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 and i'm on board with that i agree but something that I don't agree with is the people that are like, well, I'd rather people not get rewarded than do get rewarded to some degree. For me, I'd rather see those those games that are like, oh, it's 10 to 8 with a bunch of solo shots and the better man wins. As opposed to, oh, the better man lost 2 to 1, but all he did all game was line out. That's not fun. And even if there was an esports this year, that would not be anything anybody wants to watch, including me. I wouldn't want to play it. We get a routine pop fly to left that should be taken care of. Duke takes an awful route, but nonetheless, he catches it. So here we go. Base it up the middle. Aegon smashes it. There we go. That's a base hit that we needed. He probably could have been hosed at first if he threw it at first. But come on, float one. It's Alomar. It's his debut. He needs something. He needs something, and that something is a line out just like every batter in this game. So our opponent's going to stay with Oral. I don't necessarily blame him, but at the same time, I don't think it's a smart move because the moment I start getting rewarded, Oral, Oral's going to need to come out. I've been lighting him up all game. We're going to throw a slurve inside. Or oh, miss it over the plate. Not good. All right, Hornsby. And squaring up with you all game and squaring up with everybody on my team all game we get another line out this video i think is pretty obvious i am very frustrated the game before uh line out city this game right now line out city as well i don't know what just happened at first but i think i deserve about 10 more of those considering how many times i have lined out all right so i don't know if i'm trusting frank right now we squared one up perfectly with him last time and it didn't leave the yard we end up rolling it over for a double play. 3-2 the count. I love Mike Trout, but we got to strike him out here. That's a dirty pitch. That's a complete mistake by me, but I get the RNG Jesus for my pitching, not my hitting. 0-1 oh, to Eddie. We're going to give up an early hit. Both these games, I don't understand how I'm getting out, out hit. All we can continue to do, honestly, is just keep squaring it up, and if we keep lining out, that's just, just what's going to happen as we actually get something to go our way to lead off this inning we're gonna get a single past vladimir guerrero jr got an amazing pitch to hit we were out in front getting that pretty much same exact pitch and i think he understands he could throw a change up down the middle of this game and nothing's gonna he's not gonna get hurt it's just it's just gonna be allowed out every time 
Well, I mean, just I don't get it. If we want any chance of a comeback, we need to make sure he doesn't score another run. As I say that, we give up a double in the gap. Those hits do come back to bite us. They do. That late hit to lead it off, it should have been out of the inning, but it is what it is. There's a base hit from Alomar. We get another hit with him. He's, what, two for three or two for four on the day? Hornsby. Oh, my God. I thought it was another line out. <laughs> we could get at least one, preferably well, well more than one run this inning. We can, we can mount a comeback. That's a base hit. That's going to score two. It is Tony Gwynn. He gets a terrible animation. We're going to go home on that. And we are now back down to two runs. All right, we get a great jump. We're avoiding the double play now. Safe on the steal. We're good. Base hit from anybody right now. Scores another run. That, that is, what is it with Frank this game where I square up pitches and they're just hit weak? And we get ourselves into another line out. Like I said last inning, we need to make sure we don't give up any runs. We could have had ourselves a tie game as we get a strike out there. But we need to make sure that those, those runs don't happen if we want to give ourselves that prime opportunity to get this comeback. All right, one, two, the count to Eddie. I feel like we're going to get him on the slurve. Actually, we missed our spot completely. But he finally gets the luck that we've been having, and he gets his first line out of the game. I know he's looking for it. We both know he wants it. We're going to give it to him. He ends up being late. I felt like maybe he would assume that I would be coming back with Oswald with how early he was last pitch, but we jammed him. And a check swing, which ends up being a hit. What is happening? See, this is my point. That gets rewarded, but all these line drives don't. And there it is right on cue to make my point ever so clear. We get a sinker down the middle after what just happened last at bat. We get ourselves a line out. Good squared up. 95 off the bat and a 96 mile per hour sinker. Hmm. So when we take a look at my chart for the hits that I received, honestly, we did get a lot of 15s. I mean, like I said, all, all game, we were all over the pitcher. 15, 15, 15, 15, 13, 14, 13, 15, 14. Our lowest hit chance was 11. Anything under... 12 i really don't have any complaints about but once it's above 13 these kind of need to fall at a higher rate because i even still out hit my opponent but here's my point still how many 15s are we seeing on the screen that are outs it's unbelievable 15 15 15 15 there's a bunch of 11s every ball that i hit had a hit chance of nine and above and realistically if we were going to say an average on all of these of these outs that i got on the hit chances the average is probably 13, like a 13.5 of all my outs. Everything was just loud. When we go to my opponents, again, I'm not talking shit. I'm not. I'm just trying to make a point about the game. Not 115 did he have that was an out. You have a 5, you have a 9, a 13, 13, 12. There's some that I could say that he probably maybe could have gotten rewarded a little bit better. But when again, when you compare it to mine, it is just unreal. And lastly, I want to point out, his hits 10 13 15 13 11 11 9 9 there's two 15s i this is what i'm talking about i the, the discrepancy between who should win and who should it is just it is terrible